Well, at the very outset, I must congratulate the police organization. Every man and woman of the organization. We have always maintained that our Meghalaya police is competent, capable of dealing with the whole challenges of militancy, insurgency. And this is something which is vindicative of what we have always claimed. This is also a reflection of the commitment, the level of commitment with which our men and women of the police organization have been working to restore peace. Now it is time for everyone to come together and ensure that the peace achieved thus far is ultimately uh, sustain in a manner that enable our people to have the right kind of development for the future prosperity of the state. I must also say that in the preceding years people have suffered. There has been innumerable situations, innumerable occasions where people have started uh, losing hope. But today I firmly stand with the whole, um, I must say, that the people have stood firmly in their pursuit to collectively achieve this peace. I must also place on record my sincere thanks and deep sense of appreciation to people who have always been supportive of the security forces and always have been actually forthcoming in providing all the necessary support to the internal security apparatus, this uh, internal security apparatus of the state. Over the years, we have invested substantially to strengthen our internal security apparatus. And this is precisely because of the commitment that we have given to the people that the agenda, one of the topmost agenda of the state government, will be to restore peace and a peace which is permanent and which is sustainable. Therefore, besides what we have achieved thus far, I think some more uh, endeavor is required Therefore, it is time for everybody to come collectively and see that uh, we further move forward to not just restore peace, but we restore a permanent peace, a peace which is sustainable for the future growth and prosperity of our